Gorilla's Gray by Polkita Anand, short stories for kids. Today we have a book named Gorilla's Gray by Polkita Anand, short stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In the jungle of Karva, there lived a gorilla. The jungle was too dense. The sun didn't dare to enter there. The tall trees wrapped the jungle in green. Scented flowers exuded their aroma. Rainbow-colored butterflies fluttered on them, and busy honeybees collected nectar. The placid lake in the jungle had crystal clear water. The hairy trees shaded their leaves into the lake. The pebbles and leaves beneath the lake were visible. The lazy lizard moved, birds chirped, and snakes sloughed off their skin around the lake. Scurrying monkey on trees, triumphantly chi-chi from one branch to another. Some of them were busy eating fruits, some sneering at each other with Tom's white teeth. The jungle was inhabited by other animals, too, such as jolly elephant, roaring lion, hopping rabbit, cunning foxes, agile squirrel, neighing horse, and proud peacock. Everyone was happy in the ambience of the jungle. In the jungle, most of the animals listened to the advice of Gorilla, as he was big in size and amiable in his nature. For any problem, Gorilla had a solution. The animals ate and gaped at him, especially cunning foxes. He was an alpha male gorilla. He had an oval face with a bulging nose. His eyes were as big as a pond. The hair on his body glistened when he bathed. The water from his hairy body dropped like rain. He howled like a loudspeaker. The beating of his chest was thunderous, like many drums playing together. He was proud of his gray matter. One day, to bring some change in the monotonous life of the jungle, he thought to do something. Something that would sink in with his gray matter. Yes, to complement his gray matter. He thought he should wear a gray brief. So, he put on a gray brief. It was as gray as a rain cloud. This added more charm to his personality. He often sang, My matter is gray, my ug undergarment is gray, I love gray, gray, gray. Soon the fever of his gray was caught by other animals, too. It spread like a pandemic, thanks to the busy bees who spread this news. All the other animals and birds were busy deciding about their hug. Proud peacock thought to have a sparkling and dazzling hug. Cunning foxes pondered to have benefits with her hug. Hopping rabbit wondered of a frilled hug that would fly when he hopped. So, the talk of the jungle was to have a hug. There was an utter disorder and disgruntling over hug. However, Jolly Elephant was no more jolly. He was roaming casually sulking around the lake. When he met Laborious Ant, to his surprise, Laborious Ant boasted of her new shimmering Ugg. She bragged and boasted to Jolly Elephant to see her up. He bent down and tumbled down. She said, Can you see it now? Bend more, Jolly Elephant. Though he couldn't bend much to reach Laborious Ant, he replied that her Ugg was shimmering. She asked him, What's up? Why so blue? I couldn't find a Ugg on my thigh. I am feeling ashamed in front of everyone, replied Jolly Elephant. Laborious Ant beamed, Oh, don't worry. Gray Matter, Gorilla must be having a solution for this. 
Then Jolly Elephant and Laborious Ant went to the abode of Gorilla. Gorilla was posing for a photo shoot in his gray egg. He pulled down his Ugg and at times pulled up. Other animals around him clapped and admired him. When he looked at Jolly Elephant, he found him not so jolly. He asked, Hey, feller, why so low? I don't have a Ugg, said Jolly Elephant. Gorilla now wondered and pondered over what had resulted from my innovation, dumbfounded to find any answer for Jolly Elephant's problem. He started vexing his nerve and scratching his head then started beating his chest and jumped up with joy. He said, no, no, no. No, Ugg. He pulled down his Ugg, threw, and kicked off his Ugg. All the animals did the same. And Jolly Elephant was again jolly. Everyone praised Gorilla. Morale. It is better to enjoy what one has and what one is, instead of copying something novel. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.